What's up? Parking Pandas, Peter Mount Panda here. Hey, just bought this, got a 9 Amazon. It's a sharper image, garage parking stop sensor. I've shown you some signs before like this and I really like them, man. I think they are probably, like in my opinion, the best and simplest product for the money. So there are like some that are hundreds of dollars that have like a uh, proximity detection and like a little green, yellow, red stoplight. Uh, this is just like a sign when you see it move, you stop driving, right? When the front of your car hits it, and it has a little bit of like an accelerometer in it, so when you kind of tap it, the thing starts flashing little LEDs. So I thought I'd show it to you. I don't expect to, it, because it's Sharper Image, to be much different. Are Sharper Images even around anymore? Um, I haven't seen them uh, lately, but I used to love going there. And so it's probably just, my guess is maybe it's just a rebranded, you know, generic stop sign. But uh, I know as a kid, my father used to take a tennis ball and hang them from a string in the garage. And that was how we just drove in until the tennis ball was touching the windshield. And that worked, and that was pretty cheap. But it was a little ghetto. And then, of course, when I was a kid, a kid I'd go out there and swat at it with a tennis racket and probably screwed everything up. But um, here are the components. What we have are, uh, these are the connectors on the spring. So what we end up having here, uh, I do with my knife. There we go. Um, so we have, this is, is actually a spring and it sits in the base here, you screw it in. Nice big sharper image branded base here, silk screen with sharper image. It's just a plastic, you know, eight inch diameter uh, round container. And it's funny when I picked up the box, you can hear it. I think it has sand in it. Good thing nothing's leaking out. It doesn't actually seem like it's full of sand. It seems like it's maybe half to three quarters full of sand because there's plenty of space in there. But I do like the fact that over some of the other ones, if you check my other review, one of them was just like a plastic base. It didn't have any weight to it. And my issue with that is, is if you just tap it, I mean, even like when you're walking around and you just breeze against it, it just slides around. So having a, something heavier like this on the base is kind of ideal. So just my two cents about it. Um, here we actually have the little fiberglass poles. They kind of just remind me of like tent poles. You actually have four sections and these are the connectors. So what you end up doing is you connect these and then you just kind of build a telescoping pole here, or not telescoping, but a kind of a segmented pole as tall as you want. The cool thing about this is with these four poles, which look like they're about a foot each, uh, so you can probably get about four foot height plus the sign and the base. It's great because you can kind of customize the height for whether you just need the sign risen over the hood of your car, like in my Fiat, or if you want the extra section, so I maybe only use three poles for that, or like my terrain where I want it higher, I might use all four sections, right? So you have the option of making it as high or as low as you want, or if you have a Corvette or something like that, you can maybe just use two sections or a Countach. Now, here is the the reflector and the led lights you can see the led elements right there it says stop i like the fact that it says that it's kind of unnecessary but you kind of get the point it runs on like watch batteries and all you have to do is pull out this plastic thing i believe and that'll start the batteries up or finish the connection and there we go that's how it flashes so when you hit it you just kind of get these flashing leds they are pretty bright but even if these don't work and in one of my signs they don't work all you have to do is like, when, you, when you're pulling in and you hit the, the thing, you'll see this thing go like this. It's a pretty good indication that you should just stop. And as you can see, you can just put this in there and that's it. So, uh, and actually I only probably want three sections because the car isn't very tall, but there it is. Parking stop sign. I really like these. And I may have said that they're pretty cheap. I got this one for $13 on Amazon. So if you want this uh, or a facsimile, check out my other reviews. But I really like this, particularly the weighted base. Sharp image. Peter Von Pand out.